To navigate in Excel, the easiest way is to use the scroll bars. We have a horizontal scroll bar, which will allow us to go right and left, and a vertical scroll bar, which will allow us to scroll down and up. At either end of the scroll bars, you will also see small arrows that allow us to make smaller movements. So for example, I can click here to move up one row at a time. Using the scroll bars, however, is not always the most efficient method. Sometimes it is quicker to use our keyboard. For example, we have four arrow keys, which will allow us to easily move left, down, right, and up one cell at a time. If you need to make bigger movements, two really useful keys are the page up and page down. What they do is take us down one screen's worth at a time. So you can see at the moment, I'm on row 562 at the bottom here. If I press my page down, you can now see 563 at the top. And if I press page up, I'm back to where I was before. One super useful shortcut is the Control Home button. Press it, see what happens. Control Home takes you back to the beginning of your spreadsheet. And in a very large spreadsheet, that can save you a lot of time. You may also wish to navigate to different sheets within a spreadsheet. If you have a look at the bottom here, you'll see I actually have three worksheet tabs, and each of these is a different sheet. To move between these, simply click on the appropriate worksheet tab. And I'm going to move to Sales 2016 now to look at selecting data. To select a single cell, simply click on that cell. And it's a single click, not a double click. This cell then becomes the active cell, and you can recognize it because it's got a solid border around the edge. If you wish to select more than one cell, click on the first cell in your selection, hold your mouse down, and drag to the last cell. You will notice that they all become highlighted except for the first one that you started on. Don't worry, that is still part of the selection. Be very careful, however, when selecting, that you make sure you have the big white cross. There are three icons you need to look out for. The big white cross is your select icon, but if you come to the edge of the cell, you will notice you get a skinny cross with black arrows on the edge. This icon is actually your move icon. So if I click and drag now, what it has actually done is move the data. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Don't panic. Nearly every mistake in Excel can be undone just by clicking on the undo button on our quick access toolbar. So I'm going to do that now. The third icon you need to look out for is a little skinny cross with no arrows. You get this when you hover over the corner of the active cell. This time when I click and drag, it looks like it's selecting, but actually it has copied the data. Again, that's not what I meant to do. So I'm going to undo that. So remember when selecting, you want the big white cross. To select an entire column of data, you can simply click on the appropriate letter. So to select column C, I click on the C. You can also select multiple columns. So let's say I want to go A to E. I click on the A and hold down and drag till I get to the E. And of course, you can do the same with the rows. So to select row five, I'm just going to click on the number five. Between the row numbers and the column letters is a funny little corner. And if you click on that, you select your whole spreadsheet. Nice and easy. Sometimes you want to select larger sets of data and clicking and dragging can be quite slow. So another option is to click on the first cell in your data set then hold the shift key down and click on the last cell. And that will select everything between your two clicks. But wait, there's more. An even quicker way of doing this is to click somewhere in the data set and then use the shortcut Control A. Control A for all. Very nice and quick. One last thing. Sometimes you need to select two sections of data that are not next to each other. We call this non-contiguous data. So let's say I want my account managers and their Q4 results. 
I start by clicking selecting my account managers. But if I now try and select my Q4 results, oh dear, I've unselected my account managers. So let's try that again. I'm going to select my account managers, but this time I'm going to hold down the control key and then select my Q4. Excellent. Now it's your chance to give it a go.